or am I overstating? Joining us now from Los Angeles, radio talk show host and Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. Now, as the former um, L.A. president for NOW, National Organization for Women, you certainly know this world. Um, sure do. And I am, I am, Sean Hannity and I are doing an investigation on this, and we should have it for everybody on Monday on the factor. Great. But I am seeing danger for this nation because of all of this dishonesty being fed out of this far left swamp into the mainstream media. Am I overstating it? No, you're not. Uh, and coming from the left, one of the agendas that we had, of course, was a realization that we had to at least make our agenda appear to be broader and more accepted than it was. We would create uh, subgroups, uh, separate special interest groups, making it appear as though there was a large mainstream movement occurring when in fact there wasn't. Of course, the argument was was that uh, the end justify, was uh, justified uh, uh, the means. Uh, now, in this instance, and what you've just talked about with, uh, with Mr. DeLay, is what happened to you is what happened, what I consider the test case back six, seven years ago to Dr. Laura Schlesinger. With a word that is plucked out of a sentence used in an attempt to destroy one person, that effort, Bill, was uh, it launched by about a half a dozen people only and facilitated through the Internet, a well-financed small group of people who have literally, and they did then and they still do, have a list of individuals uh, that are to be targeted because they know that, well, you're on it, of course, it, it's, it's people who are not intimidated, uh, who, are, who will not be silenced of their own accord, uh, and so they must be destroyed. We saw it start with Coulter uh, a, a few months ago, uh, and it's moved to Imus, uh, and of course they will move down their list uh, because we're moving into this election. Okay, now the uh, Laura Schlesinger thing you're talking about is she had a television show. Um, yeah. She said something about gays and the Bible. Uh, they took it out, they ran with mm -hmm. it, all the sponsors of her TV show uh, bolted, right. and she didn't get a television show, and that was the first one. But you know, people will say to you, listen, Don Imus was essentially a liberal guy on the radio. He gave platform mm, yes. to the far left. Why would they target Don Imus? Well, he's, just the reason why I get targeted is, quote, not being a, quote, real Democrat. He is targeted because I see him as being the Lieberman, if you will, of, of the Democratic framework. There is a civil war going on right now between the far left uh, individual extremists, as you've, as you've noted them to be, and the classical liberal basic Democrats. And that is where you saw the Lamont-Lieberman attack uh, happen, the attempt to purge Lieberman. In order to be able to even go after Republicans eventually or conservatives, uh, these far our left forces need to purge our own house of Democrats like myself who speak the truth and uh, will confront them on what they are. That's why Imus uh, had to be uh, eliminated and that's why they went after him first and now they'll proceed down their list. Okay, now there's also a list, and I don't know whether you're aware of this, but this is what Sean and I are working on, mm -hmm. of mainstream media people like Frank Rich and others uh, who are used by these far left websites, fed stuff directly mm -hmm. to them, oh, yes. and then they I put it them. in the in the papers. Oh, well, I, the, I use them. I mean, my best friend when I was the president of now is I could dial a phone, and I would move a story through all of the New York Times owned newspapers. It was a network that I could rely on. There I was sitting in my basement alone, running the National Organization for Women in Los Angeles, and because I would get an idea uh, and package it, I would move it nationally the next day. Uh, that certainly is not, now, uh, uh, frankly, I'm proud of most of my work, but the truth of the matter is I used essentially what is a conspiratorial network uh, of, of people in the newspaper and television industry at the time that would move whatever it is that you I bet. wanted moved. And, and we have elements at NBC yes. uh, who do it every day. We have uh -huh. elements at Newsweek magazine who do it, and we're going to name one of those tomorrow. Good. We have uh, the you. New York Times. But, but you're telling me that you actually had people that you could feed stories to that they would print yes. verbatim, wouldn't oh, check them, wouldn't check them. You could just feed what you wanted well, to them yes. and pop it right out there. It was mostly, it was mostly, about, it was mostly theory. It was attitude. Uh, it was uh, the idea itself. And it would, we'd move it through the New York Times, and then of course it would move to the Boston Globe. Oh, absolutely! Uh, and and, right. and, and on and the wire, and yes. out to all other stations. Now you have Rosie well, the wires O'Donnell. Were the Rosies were the the uh, the wires were particularly important. Right. Absolutely. Right. And now you have Rosie O'Donnell, who is now doing this in the entertainment realm. They yes. contact her. Um, they feed her this crap. 
Yes. Um, she spits it out uh, in front of all the women who are watching her on ABC, and, and this is how it goes. Well, you have multiple impressions using different media. You've got, of course, newspapers and people like Frank Rich. It's moved through the guarantors uh, in, in ca on camera like a Rosie O'Donnell. So uh, regular Americans hear it from so many different avenues they believe, that it. they believe it's true. Yeah. Uh, and they get, they get really immersed in it. Our job is, and part of what I see as my job now, is to expose that method so that Americans can finally uh, make up uh, their own minds. And that's through talk radio and the Internet. And that's well, why this is We appreciate it, Tammy. And we're, gonna, we're taking up the mantle. And we're gonna Excellent. we're gonna we're gonna expose everyone in this dishonest swamp because Good it's luck. a danger to the nation. It and is. And we have a brand new Bill O'Reilly.